Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you each out to the shed of many names. We're on this beautiful evening. We're going to finally get around to straining the goldenrod tincture. Like I said, eight weeks is how long it needs to be. But when you strain it, that's up to you. This was made 92822. I know some of y'all remember watching the video. My jar is cold, so it's trying to sweat. But if you notice, it's not near as green and vibrant, and the flowers are not near as they're not beautiful yellow anymore. That means the alcohol has done its job. It has pulled all those medicinal benefits into the alcohol out of the plant. Because it's dull and everything, is there anything wrong with it? No, it's actually perfectly like it's supposed to be. So, what I'm going to do, first off, make sure that your workspace countertop is clean and sanitized. I've got my jar here. I'm going to use a pitcher, well, a big measuring cup, and this strainer because I'm going to strain the uh, plant material out first, and then what's in here, I'm going to strain into a second jar. I have a canning funnel with a filterless coffee filter, the best thing y'all can have for straining tinctures. And I'm going to use a measuring cup to press the plant material to get all the alcohol out. Well, the tincture out. It's it's more uh, medicinal now than just plain alcohol. And, of course, a new lid and a band and a Sharpie marker. So, let's get busy. Smells like goldenrod, y'all, which is a good thing. Now, I'm going to try to do this gracefully. And you'll notice it's going to have a greenish, kind of yellowish tint. That's what it's supposed to look like. We're going to take our clean and sanitized jar, our funnel, and our strainer. And we're going to slowly pour this in here and strain it a second time. Look at the beautiful color. It's a golden color, and I love to see it. <coughs> now, I will have more of the medicinal benefit information and the dosage information in the description box below the video. I won't forget it this time because I'm not going to fall asleep. Um... And as you can see, there's still alcohol tincture coming out of the jar. And we're just going to mash it best I can. Are we going to get all of it out? No. There's always going to be a little bit of loss no matter what. I'm going to move my lid over here and my marker. because 
the plant material, please put it in your compost pile. But it's not going to hurt your compost pile at all. But you cannot run a second run of this because it has took out all the benefits out of the plant material. So don't try to get any more out, but another run out of it because it's not going to work. I'll just clean that out and get it ready for another tincture to be put into it. But you want to wash it and sanitize it very well. You're not going to get a whole lot of the tincture out, but you can try to get as much as you can. Okay, and like I said, that's going to be going into the compost pile. Oh, it smells good, y'all. Extremely important medicinal. Like I said, it will filter out. See, at the very bottom of the very small particles, it will filter it all out. And there we have a wonderful batch of goldenrod tincture. Look how beautiful that is. You're going to want to take your Sharpie marker or write on a label. You're going to put goldenrod. Tincture. And since I strained it tonight, it's going to be 123. Simple, easy, homemade, and I'll put the link to the uh, original video in at the end of the video and also in the description box below so you can go back to and watch if you haven't seen the video on how to make your own goldenrod tincture. Now, do not worry. It might get a little darker. That's fine. Doesn't mean nothing's wrong with your tincture at all. It's just going to age a little bit and it'll be fine. Now, excellent for, uh, it's a number one plant for UTIs. It cleans out kidney stones. It cleans out your bladder and your whole urinary tract. Um, it's good for respiratory ailments. For uh, bronchitis, pneumonia, flu, colds. Also, um, you want to build up immunity to uh, allergies around your area. Harvest your goldenrod around where you live. And it will help you fight the ragweed, the hay fever, and um, seasonal allergies. It will help you with that. Now. It smells wonderful. It can be rough, so you can mix it in with tea, juice, water, 
or just take it like it is. Like I said, this uh, in the description box below, the dosage will be in there. Simple, easy, homemade, organic, grown on my property. You can do it too. You just have to believe in yourself and have the plant material and the alcohol. It's easy, everyone. Just believe in yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one, but it doesn't take a very long to strain your tinctures. Now, do you have to strain your tincture? No. You can leave it like it is. It just makes it easier for uh, to put in the two ounce, my two ounce bottles when it's been strained. If you don't want to uh, strain it for your own personal use, you don't have to. You can leave it all in there. The plant material has done its job. The alcohol has done its job. It's not going to get any stronger. At eight weeks, your tincture is done and ready to use i had some already we have gotten low very low that's why i went on and strained this jar of it simple easy you can do it i hope this video encourages you to start making your own all natural medicines stay safe and sound everyone Please continue to stock up your pantries with as much sustainable food as you can get. Don't go overboard. Get what you can as, while you can. Also, save up your protection as well as work on your medicine cabinets, your own natural medicine cabinets. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. May you each be blessed. Take care. I'll see you soon.